Hey, what's up everyone? Thanks for watching my channel and my clip here and welcome to my kitchen again. So today on this video, I'm going to show you a little West Indian recipe uh, that I absolutely love eating. Uh, it's known as cabbage and sawfish. However, with my recipe, I don't use sawfish. So everything remains the same. I just don't use sawfish and it tastes just as good as if you were to use sawfish. So um, um, I don't eat meat, so I don't use sawfish. Okay, um, the ingredients that you're going to need, once again, I'm a one woman army, and so it's a bit, it's gonna be a bit difficult, but I'll try to, I've done this once before, and it worked out pretty well. Uh, so I'm just gonna go over the ingredients with you. You're going to need half of a, a sweet pepper, normally, they use green pepper, I use red. I like the sweetness in the red pepper, so half of a red pepper, uh, half or a whole tomato. I'm using half uh, because that's all I had, so um, you can use a whole tomato. I would use a whole tomato if I had it, but today I'm just using half. Um, a little piece of scotch bonnet uh, pepper, you know, diced up, and some butter which you will dip around the end of the cooking process. I add in a little butter. Some, pe some people may not use the butter, but I like it. Okay, um, you're going to need about, I would say two, two stems of spring onion and a half of a regular onion. I use, in this recipe, I'm using um, Spanish onion, but you could use any kind of onion, a half of that three cloves of garlic, which you crush um, and then dice up finely, and about, um, I would say like this much of ginger, also again, diced up finely, and uh, okay, so, oh, and thyme. So here I have a stick and a half of thyme, fresh thyme, and then seasoning salt, dry basil, I go with the dry stuff, dry basil, dry parsley, black pepper, allspice or pimento, nutmeg, and a little bit of oil. Uh, so that's what you're going to need. And then of course, the star of the show, which is your cabbage. So for this recipe, I'm only using half of a cabbage. It is really just me, so I don't need to cook up a, a whole cabbage. And um, a carrot. I, for this recipe, because I'm using half of the cabbage, I used this much of a carrot. That didn't sound right. Okay, just say one carrot. <laughs> oh my gosh, making videos, I swear, it's the hardest thing ever. Like, wow, if you ever do this kind of stuff, you know what I'm talking about. Um, so you mess up in your words and you try to do everything perfect. So hopefully, you know, I don't mess up anymore. So yeah, one carrot is fine. And you just chop it up. I don't julienne the carrot, carrots, I just cut them uh, in half and then slice them again. And I'll show you. So I'm gonna, because I'm just by myself, I'm gonna maneuver the camera and just show you all the ingredients that I have here again. So here we have the tomato, the red pepper, and the scotch bonnet. This is how much pepper I'm using, okay? There's the butter, your spring onion, Spanish onion, garlic, and ginger. Then your dry parsley, your thyme, nutmeg, allspice, pimento if you have it, same thing. Basil, seasoning salt, uh, black pepper, some oil, not too much, and the star the cabbage, and this is how I sliced up my carrots. Okay, so, now, um, it's this recipe is usually eaten with uh, a dumpling, but unfortunately I don't have any whole wheat flour, um, so I'm making it with what I had in the fridge, which I'm boiling some potato, I'm boiling some carrots, and I'm boiling some plantain, okay, so, I boil my plantain with the skin on it like so. So there, that's going there, and there's my potato and carrots. You can eat it with brown rice, white rice, um, as your side, or uh, the dumpling, as I said, or all of it, um, your choice. 
your preference. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm just gonna turn my stove on to high. Let me turn my camera this way. All right. Okay, so inside your, your pot, we're going to just drizzle some oil. So one, two, three is good. You're also gonna add water in this just to, I like to add water, not too much, um, so it doesn't water down, but I like, I like the gravy. You know, I like to put the gravy over my provision or over my dumpling, over my rice. Some people don't like to use too much water, but my recipe, my preference, and that it's just the way I do it. You know what I really hate about um, uh, surfing on the web and going on YouTube, and I see people put up recipes, and then I see a lot of people dissing the way they do their thing, you know? Like, I, I feel that's so unnecessary unnecessary like if you don't like something that somebody's trying to teach you and put out there for free well move on to the next video like what's what's all the negativity about it I really just don't understand that if someone's not doing it right oh well that's just the way they do their thing that's just the way they eat maybe you should make a video and show somebody how you do it you know so they can learn and get some inspiration off of you so burn the negativity anyway um sorry okay back to this so the oil is uh, starting to warm up. So inside the oil, what I'm going to pour in there is um, the, the onions and the ginger and the garlic. Also the sweet pepper, the, the pepper, the scotch bonnet and the tomato. Okay, and then, um, sorry, also the parsley and the thyme. Okay, so that's all gonna go in there. So let's let's start. So here we go. And just turn it down. I turn my my um, stove top to like number six. Okay, so I'm just adding everything here. that a whirl. And you just kind of want to fry up, fry it up before you add, um, you kind of just want to saute it and then you're going to add your cabbage and carrots. Sizzling up nicely here. Let me just show you how it looks. There you go. It's sizzling up. I hope this video, all my videos, I try to make them short, but wow, it just doesn't happen. Like, <laughs> especially cooking with all my videos, I can't even say. They all seem to just go on forever. Anyways, I'm trying and hopefully I'll get better at this video making thing. All right. Um, okay, so now just add in all your cabbage. Wow, that's a lot. Okay. There's a lot of cabbage for just using half. So I'm just going to this in and this is the point where I would want to add some water not a lot just like a little bit of water just add that in there just like so okay so now that the cabbage is inside here okay um, I'm gonna add in my seasoning salt the basil, the allspice, and the nutmeg. So the way I do it is I just drizzle it. There's no measurements. I just drizzle it all over the cabbage at the top. 
Okay, same thing goes for the basil. Just drizzle it all over the top of the cabbage. Not Meg, same thing. Just don't put a lot of this. Just, there you go, that's good. Allspice. Okay, so it's gonna look like that, all right? And then you just wanna give it a stir. some cabbage so I'm just gonna add that cabbage in here too. If you were making this with salt fish, before you add the cabbage, just add the salt fish in there. Um, you can probably find a recipe on, on salt fish. It's very easy. The way I used to do sawfish is I used to boil it out, then I used to fry it a little. So I would boil boil out the salt, and then I would mash it up, and then I would fry the sawfish, and then dip it into this because I like I like the the fried taste in the fish back in the day when I used to eat it. Um, so let me just turn off the provision. It looks good to go. All right, so this is how it's gonna look. See it's boiling down and it's looking perfect. So at this point here now you want to just add your butter. You may not see uh, a recipe like this use butter but I really, I really like how it tastes inside of this. So I use it. Okay, now I just add my sprinkled black pepper on the top. This is brown pepper inside here. It's really nice. Same idea, just drizzle all the black pepper all around the, the pan and just stir. Okay, so you just want to cover this maybe for about four minutes, five minutes, and I'm not going to make this video keep rolling for that time, um, but here's my provision again. So see my banana is nicely boiled. My potatoes and carrots are looking all right. I'll, I'll turn off the stove for that soon. And this is my cabbage. So there you go, like you probably just have to cook this for about five minutes. Cabbage doesn't need much time to cook, it softens up very fast. Uh, the, the hardest thing in here is the carrots, so you want to give it about five, five to ten minutes on, on the stove and then turn it off and you're good. And then just serve it with, as I said, make dumpling, uh, provision white rice, brown rice, however you like it, you know, whatever uh, your taste buds prefer. So that's my recipe, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, rate, subscribe. Okay, so hopefully I taught you guys something, and um, maybe you'll try it and tell me how it tastes. Uh, for me personally, I really love it. It has a, it's packed with flavor. And it just, I just love it a lot. So uh, give it a try and let me know. All right. So in the meantime, have a great day today. And uh, again, remember, be peaceful, stay safe. One love. Bless.